Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. And we are going to be talking about an interesting topic in this video, which is most likely why you have clicked on it. Quickly, I do want to say, a uh, new Cal Chuchesta black metal shirt is out for a limited time only. Grab it via the link in the description. Ba bam Our Imagine Dragons is Imagine Dragons, the worst rock band right now, the most hated rock band right now. A couple of things that sort of sprung my thoughts on this were essentially a lot of the negative comments that I have seen directed toward Imagine Dragons in, in my videos, especially on ones uh, where I am reviewing their music negatively. And also that when I review their music negatively, I get very little in terms of like pushback or anything like that. Um, also, I recently caught this article and quote from Corey Taylor of Slipknot fame, uh, talking about how Imagine Dragons have essentially replaced Nickelback as the most hated band. Uh, he said in an interview slash discussion, uh, they are passing the baton to Imagine Dragons as far as the most hated band around, and I love it. Uh, Imagine Dragons are awful, so that's cool. Taylor continued. They're also some. Uh, they're also from Vegas, so I'm going to go home to protest. Can't show my base in this town now. Yeah, people are slowly coming back to appreciate Nickelback, and then they're just turning their irksome ire towards Imagine Dragons. Now, I don't know if I can say that objectively Imagine Dragons are the worst band out there or the worst rock band currently. I mean, certainly... I think the band's latest record is easily their worst record so far. Like, worst songs, worst hooks, worst production, so overblown and clipping. A real victim of the loudness war, uh, that record is, unfortunately. But I can think of some records that do fall partially in the rock genre that this decade so far, I think, have been much worse. Uh, Kid Cudi's Speeding Bullet to Heaven. Also, I'll say Corey Feldman's Angelic to the Core. Um, there may be some other really awful, obscure Bandcamp-based releases that I could certainly pull from if I scoured the internet. But, you know, really with Imagine Dragons, I think it's a matter of ratio. It's not just that they're making awful rock music and awful pop music, but it's also how terrible their music is in relation to just how much attention the band is getting on the mainstream stage and, and also how popular they are. I mean, you know, the thing is, I don't really think you can be the world's most hated band without simultaneously amassing a pretty large audience that loves you. And in Imagine Dragons defense, I mean, a lot of their early records and early singles did come through with a relatively distinct sound that you could recognize almost immediately. Uh, however, I, I feel like that sound isn't all that particularly great. In a lot of ways, I think it kind of sells a lot of the best elements of rock and pop music. <laughs> the river. I'm not trying to flame Imagine Dragons too hard on this video because certainly we could say the band is more innovative and cutting edge than like Greta Van Fleet. But again, how unbearable and formulaic the band's music is combined with their relative popularity and the number of mediocre to bad records the group has put out across their discography, while I don't think that I could legitimately argue that Imagine Dragons is the worst band out there based on all that stuff, I do think those three factors have contributed to them being the most hated band. Thinking back to groups like Nickelback, for example, I can remember a time when they were getting attacked from pretty much every wing of the rock genre and even outside of the rock genre. And there's not really any group out there right now other than Imagine Dragons that I think is is getting that same kind of treatment. Trying to cite other groups out there in rock and even beyond that I think get a lot of hate, uh, groups like Attila, Five Finger Death Punch, some of the crab core bands out there. Even though many people may find them corny, at least these days, not a lot of individuals go out of their way to attack or make fun of these groups. Even as disliked and as corny as a group like Limp Biscuit is, I think there are at least a handful of tracks that from that group people look back upon fondly. Considering all of this, I don't really think I can come to any other conclusion that Imagine Dragons is the most hated band out there right now. And what's funny is before coming on to do this video, I was actually planning on playing a bit of devil's advocate here, but 
yeah, I, I think Imagine Dragons is the most hated band right now. And if I haven't already made my opinion on this perfectly clear with my previous videos, I, I think a great deal of that has to do with how predictable and formulaic their sound is, how often they go back to a lot of these same really stale electronic sounds to pump up their pop rock style. And just the quality of the singing and the songwriting and the recording of their last record, I think, was almost like the straw that broke the camel's back. Because up until this point, as formulaic as the group has been, I could at least say, well, you know, that's their sound, I guess, and maybe it's not entirely for me. And they're just kind of getting the uh, same takedowns that a lot of pop rock groups do. But I don't know, man. I think there's something particularly awful about where the group has been headed lately. I think maybe you could argue that the Chainsmokers are, are maybe a bit more hated overall, but they're obviously not a rock group. And uh, if, if we're kind of limiting it strictly to rock music, uh, yeah, Imagine Dragons is, is that group that is supremely disliked. So I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Anthony Fantano, Imagine Dragons, most hated band uh, forever.